YouTube, so I'm in my dining room. Yep, weird. Okay, back to the news. Well, two news stories that I find really interesting, and I have my own opinion about them, and last night's episode of Heroes, Reborn. So first, I want to talk about this kid who gets bullied about his ears. He has elf ears. So his parents decide, oh, we don't want him to get bullied, so we're just going to get plastic surgery on his ears. Now, I have mixed feelings about this. And tell me what you think in the comments. I think this is ridiculous. Like, I can understand you don't want your kid to get bullied. Okay, understandable. No one wants their kid to get bullied. But plastic surgery on their ears, like permanently, that makes them different. Like, they had a before and after picture, and he looked fine the way he was. If I was getting picked on, I'd like, forget you. Like, it's me. That's what makes me different. But I can see where the parents can come from with, oh, we don't want our kid to get bullied about his ears for the rest of his life, or we don't want it to like slow him down. I can understand that, but getting bullied makes a lot of people stronger. Sometimes it brings people down a lot, and unfortunately people take their lives because of it. I don't know. I have very mixed feelings. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Another controversial thing that I saw today was a woman with Body Interior Identify Disorder, or BIID, decided that she wanted to be blind because the disorder is someone that doesn't have a disability that wants a disability, which I don't understand why anyone would want a disability, but anyways, it's a disorder for a reason. They, she makes herself blind thinking that's, that's what she wants, it's, apparently that's what she's wanted since she was six, and she finally did it, and everyone's like supporting her. My thing is, a lot of disability people don't want to be disability. A lot of them are grateful for it, and a lot of them aren't. They're like, why me, why me? This girl just is like, oh, I want to be blind, so I'm going to make myself blind. A lot of people in the video that I watch, she said that a lot of people don't go through with it, which is great. Do not put your body through that kind of harm to make yourself blind, death. I can't think of any other disabilities not able to walk like be grateful for that obviously you're not the one that's supposed to, you're like you don't need that in your life to be happy or be successful for anything like it just blows my mind what people do nowadays we're gonna go to heroes reborn i was just texting my brother last night about it he was watching the first two episodes last night and he was like freaking out he also watched the prequel on the app so i have to watch that because micah's in it they have what happened last week episode and they caught molly which is great. Not great if you watch the whole episode. Minding you now, there are spoilers. So what I'm going to do for Here's Your Morning is I'm going to talk about each character in this episode separately and talk about the whole episode from each character. First I'm going to start off with talking about Miko and Ren. So Miko's the one with powers where she takes the sword and she becomes into a video game called Everlast, I believe it was, which is a game that her father created for her to help save him. In the second episode, she ends up in the building fighting these people in Hiro Nakamura's tower. She gets there, gets captured by this guy named Harris. His power, if you cut any part, it just regenerates and then the other part that was cut off Regen regenerates the whole body like that's crazy so now there's two of him by the end of the episode she escapes with Ren and goes and is like okay we have to go get my sword from this lady that's in Colorado so we're going to America and the girl I believe I don't remember her name because she's unimportant right now which is actually not true because she is important I don't remember she's like the CEO of Epic which is a device that they're creating to find the Ecos, which is the supernatural. Next we're going to talk about Luke. Luke lost his son with his wife in the disaster of June 13th of 2014. He decides that after they escape from the place that Tommy sent them, he didn't want to kill anymore. Like in that room, he's like, I don't want to kill anymore. In his mind mentally, he doesn't tell his wife this, who is like bloodthirsty to get back at everyone. The twist with Luke is that he is also an Evolve. He has a, the power for, I don't even know, is it radiation? I think it's radiation because first he heats up his like knife and then which cooks his meat, which is great. And then he goes outside before his wife and he's like, it's about to blow up it looks like. And we don't even know what happens. Like they don't show him after that point. Now we're gonna talk about Noah. 
Noah has no idea what happened June 13th. He got his memory wiped by the Haitian. So he's trying to figure out. So they go to this hospital and security come, or the doctor from that saw him last year comes and is like, oh, get security here. He just disappears because Noah's a badass. So he goes to the security can downstairs with this um, security guard and like sees him with Molly, doesn't know who he's talking to in the hall, sees Claire dead, like one, I don't, is Claire really dead? That's all I want to know. Is Claire really dead? I don't want Claire to be dead. How is she dead? She has supernatural healing powers. How is it possible? And then while they're watching the security cams with um, him about to see Claire, they notice that the time lapse is off. So he's like, gotta find Hero because that's the only person I know that can do that. So now they're on a mission to find Hero after they try and save Molly, but Molly's like, no, you're gonna ruin the plan. Back up and then she runs into Harris, the black guy that can regenerate. Now Tommy, he's now becoming cool and safe with his powers, but someone is trying to come after him. Not really someone, probably a company that's protecting him so that when he's needed, he can save the world. Of course, because Heroes is all about saving the world. Tommy's slowly figuring out his powers with the help of his female friend, his little crush. His mom's like, we have to get out. And at the end, they get into a car crash. I don't know how, mom was speeding. Was she drinking? Drinking and driving is bad. Now we get to Carlos. Carlos doesn't have any supernatural powers yet. I don't, I think he does, he just doesn't know it yet. So he gets himself into a little trouble trying to protect them and turns out the guy that he was fighting has super strength so he's like screwed. Very interesting. He tries to take over the mask and it doesn't really work out because he doesn't have supernatural powers. It's just impossible for him to do it without supernatural powers. I don't like the epic because it's like destroying Molly like in the end she's just screaming. Like they have to have a soundproof room for that because she's just screaming her head off like this is killing me like I don't know why they just oh and what is Tommy gonna be doing with his powers to save the world that's my question probably gonna be sending someone to another dimension and I want to know what happened with Tommy and his mom those are my questions for this episode until next week so talk about a lot today talk about two stories that are unbelievable and heroes so tomorrow I'm going to re be reviewing America's Next Top Model and probably some more news so stay tuned and I'll see you guys tomorrow love you bye